Allison, we were talking about it last night, that rain really moved in. As far as today, what can people expect? So you just saw on your screen there that storm alert. So today and tomorrow technically are going to be storm alert weather days. You'll see the red boxes on the seven day forecast, but really it's the window of time for tonight. So your take home point for just heading out during the day today. Maybe if you were off yesterday for the President's Day holiday, mainly dry, breezy, warm and cloudy during the daytime for your Tuesday. So there's not going to be a whole lot of rainfall um, over the next 12 hours or so, even more than 12 hours. Yes, there may still be an isolated shower, so I'd probably just throw a raincoat in the back seat of your car to have just in case. Tonight, that's really when that activity picks up. That's when we're going to be in that storm alert weather day mode is during the nighttime hours. So heavy rain sweeping across our area. Also some thunderstorms, especially if you're in Chattanooga and westward. We have that low end risk for an isolated severe storm. Now all that rain is going to be ending on Wednesday morning by about 9 a.m. on Wednesday morning. After that, much of the rest of the day on Wednesday will be dry as well, which means you kind of have a dry daytime today, dry daytime tomorrow. It's just going to be during the overnight hours. So that's some good news. Hopefully we won't have as many people driving on the roads for in case there's that flooding threat. But of course, you have to pay attention for that isolated severe risk a little bit earlier in the evening. So here's a check of our current radar. Yes, you can see that little green line. That's just a little bit of a blip on there. But there's a couple of light showers ongoing towards the Andrews area, but much of the area now is dry. I'm going to now pull back, add on those clouds on top of it. So we have clouds sweeping across our entire region. You do see some of these showers that are developing for far northwestern portions of Alabama, southern portions of Middle Tennessee. All that movement is generally to the northeast. So up on the Cumberland Plateau, especially today, you may get hit with a couple of isolated showers here and there. But really, the story is this system that's further off to the west. And we can see that storm development right now from Arkansas all the way into Missouri. That cold front so is going to be moving into our area for the night tonight. So let's just time all that out with Futurecast. So here's right at midday at noon. At that point, the wind's really picking up from the south. Wind gusts again potentially today around 20 miles per hour. And yes, you'll see a couple little green spots on here. That's that kind of slim isolated chance for a few showers during the day today. Day, but most locations staying dry. I think about 5, 6 p.m. we'll start to see a few more sweeping across the area, but even then that's not going to be the biggest worry time. I think 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. That's really what I want you to focus on. So this is going to be showing about 1045. Certainly can see some of these individual storm cells for our western communities. That'll be the time that we have that biggest risk for any kind of isolated severe weather. The main threat is outside of our area, though, further to the west. So again, low in chance for severe weather, but stay aware for that. And then as we go through the night, more and more rain is going to come across our region as that cold front slowly passes by. So as we get that rainfall heading into Wednesday morning, that's when we begin to have that flood potential. By about 8, 9 a.m. on Wednesday morning, that's pretty much out of here. Still a few light showers for our Georgia communities. Wind then coming down from the north. So Wednesday will be a little bit cooler than what we have for the day today. And then we'll see another spike in our temperatures for Thursday, but the clouds still being with us. As we look early on Thursday morning, starting to see a few showers sweeping across areas north of Chattanooga. And that'll be the main point for Thursday. Rain chances for areas to the north. So how much rainfall are we going to be dealing with just for tonight into Wednesday morning? Widespread one to two inches, but I think we locally could see a few of these streaks showing up. That's where we call training of storms. When those storms train like on our railroad tracks over one location, I think we could locally see a few spots up to three inches or a little bit more. So again, widespread one to two, that's kind of the average and then that locally three inches or more. And you can see flood watch for pretty much all of our communities except for Cherokee County, Gordon County and Chattooga County. So something in place for Tuesday evening all the way through Wednesday morning. So let's just break that down one more time then for your Tuesday day planner. Cloudy skies at 8 a.m. 55 degrees. I think we may see a couple of breaks in the clouds right at midday 64, but overall cloudy for your Tuesday. 70 degrees at 3 o'clock and at 6 p.m. and then at 9 o'clock. That's when we'll have to start to watch, especially up along the Cumberland Plateau for a few of those storms moving into our area. And then as we take a check then of the forecasted highs for the week ahead, 71 today, a little bit of a drop tomorrow, 68, back up to 70 tomorrow, and then Friday more widespread rain sweeps through with a cold front and temperatures really falling down. So for the weekend, temperatures will be below what is normal for this time of year. So for your seven day forecast, again, red boxes on both of these with alert days, but really that's for the activity tonight. So kind of heads up for that. And then looking at Thursday, that 40% for area is primarily north of Chattanooga. Friday, that 80% is for the morning time. And then you'll notice a little bit of a cool down. So 58 for your high on Friday. By the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, uh, only highs in the 40s. Sunday is also going to be a day to watch because we may see a little bit of snow. A little too early to oh tell. Oh my goodness. We have to, <laughs> we have to get through. We have to get through tonight first. So that one's 
kind of far off. <laughs> wow, wow. I know, a lot to get through on that seven day forecast. And we th I felt like we were almost to March, so, you know. Well, we will almost be to March on Sunday. I mean, it, I felt like spring was right around the corner, but you know. Might as well have one more, one more of the white stuff, right? <laughs> All right, Allison, thank you.